Well, that's not it. Just take those old records off. Keep your heart out, Tom Cruise. You're watching Rider Space Live. Everybody, it's January 7th and I'm not wearing pants because I have the studio all to myself. So I'm not wearing pants. Hey, it's the awkward video of the week. Wow, now that looks like some risky business! <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna read you the news. It's the Runner uh, Space Rundown! Run it's the high school rundown with the cross country season over. A new excitement is in the air. The indoor season has started and high school kids are deciding where they want to run in college. Some of them have already decided, like Trevor Dunbar of Alaska, who's made the decision to go to the University of Portland in Oregon over the University of Oregon. Oh man, and Brett Johnson, the fastest returning miler in the US, who happens to be from New Jersey, is going to Virginia. It'll be so fun to watch you guys race collegiately. But that won't be for a while. Let's talk indoor track. This last week, Omar Abdi ran a nation leading 414 miles at the Boston University indoor meet. At the Brown Invitational indoor meet this last weekend, Rhode Islander Andrew Springer ran an impressive 827 to lead the nation. And Molly Pizzullo ran 1011 to lead the girls. US 3K list. The East Greenwich Boys of Rhode Island also ran a nation leading distance medley relay time of 1025. In Maryland, Lul Degfe ran an impressive 913 3200. He was a footlocker finalist. At the same meet, Devin Smith ran a nation leading 6.21 in the 55 meter dash. Emily Block of Colorado ran a US leading 7.78 in, in the, the 60 meter dash. She also ran a crazy fast 41. 195 in the 300 meter dash at the Colorado Allcomers. Off that indoor track and on to that indoor field. Some impressive showings in the jump. Senior Eric Kennard of Ohio jumped 7-2. And a half to get the highest jump in the nation so far this year. Possibly even more impressive was Jack Witt's 17 foot jump in the pole vault. The senior from Oklahoma jumped that at the Reno Pole Vault Summit in Nevada. And at the Colorado Allcomers, Mason Finley threw an impressive nation leading 68 feet in the shot put. It's the College Pro Rundown. Yes, that's right. Usain Bolt has been voted the Sportsman of the Year by the Internet. National media. He beat out other notable contenders for the award, such as Michael Phelps. Ha! Take that, Michael Phelps. Bolt only had to win three gold medals. You had to win eight, and you still lost. But you're still really good, and I think you're super cool. Pole vaulter Yelena Isenbaeva won the Sports Woman of the Year award, so go track and field. In other news, the same Bolt's teammate Osafa Pal is planning on opening his season on January 31st with a 400 meter dash. What? World Junior 1500 meter champion Stephanie Twell won the Atrium International Cross Country Race in the UK this last weekend, winning by a second again. Getting her third victory in the McCain UK Cross Country Challenge Series. US's top finisher was Emily Brown, who was fourth. On the guy's side, Boniface Kiprop lost his shoe and ended up getting second to Ethiopian Emane Murga. Florida State grad Andrew Lemoncello, not Lemoncello, Lemoncello, was third. In Spain at the 55th Cross Internacional Zornoza, Eritrea Samuel Tisege won the race running 31 36 over the 10.7 kilometer course, beating out Kenya's Moses Masai, who was fourth at this last year's Olympic Games in the 10. K. Not bad for a 20 year old. In Reno, Nevada, Darren Niedermeyer won the National Pole Vault Summit, jumping over 18 feet and 4 inches. Chelsea Johnson jumped 14 7 to win the women's side. On December 28th at the Corita Pedestre Internacional 10K in France, Sylvia Cabet of Kenya won by over a minute in a course record 31.50. Micah Kogo of Kenya won the guy's side in 28.04. And wouldn't you know it, that guy was a busy bee because he went over three days later on December 31st and won the Bitburger Sylvester Lauf 8K in, in Trier, Germany. He ran 23.07. Double champion! Other New Year's Eve and New Year's races included the Emerald Nuts Midnight Run, which was held right here in the U.S. In New York City, baby! The four mile hilly course was won by Sean Quigley of Philadelphia in a time of 1845. Aziz Aliu of Ethiopia won in 21 21 for those New Year's running ladies. Edwin Soy, who was beat by Kogo on the 28th, won the New Year's run in Bolzano, Italy. It was a 10.05k and he won it in 28.55. In Spain, Ethiopian Tedes Etola ran a 27.53 for the San Silvestre Valle Cana 10k course in which he won by 13 seconds. It was a huge race with 22,894 finishers. And 
Ana Dulce Felix ran 32.55 to win the New Year's Eve run in Lisboa, Portugal. After New Year's on January 3rd in China, the Examen International Marathon was won by Samuel Muturi Mugo, who ran a course record and personal best 208.51, winning $45,000. The Hakone Ekiden, the biggest race in Japan, took place this last week, and Let's Run has some great links to information about it. So go check that out. Also, in an interview with RunnersWorld.com, Kara Gacha told them that they she likes stir fry and cookies. That's all. Bye. That's the road racing rundown. You know, being all alone in the runner space studio really makes me want to express myself through the art of dance. Hit it. Just take those old records on the shelf. I sit and listen to them by myself. Today's music ain't got the same song. I like that old time. Uh, what are you doing? Hi, Ian. Awkward. Where's my slime sunny out? <laughs>